An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Hi Alex. Hello. Nice to meet you mate. Yeah. Thanks for coming. What have you got here? I'll tell you what, I think this is made of... What do you think it's made of? Silver. Silver. Do you know it's silver? Yeah, I do. I know kind of thing. You think it's silver, yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty clever. You're clever, like you've got a cl Alex a clever one here. Right, how do we know it's silver? Because you can see by the marking there. That what mark's that? Is it the lion in there? We're looking for, the that's a year, year mark? Mm -hmm. The silver hallmark for England, mm -hmm. just rampant like the lion. And the anchor mark for the assay town of Birmingham. This tells you where it was assayed. Perhaps where it was made. It was stamped. And this is the year letter it was made. So this is the letter to G. G. It's probably about 1950s, 1960s. Should we have a look? Quite Do you modern. say Birmingham? Should you look up anchor first? Okay, let's have a look. Find the anchor for me. Um, anchor. Yeah, I've got you, I've got you. Birmingham, we've got a G, and a, a squirrely G. G with a squirrely outside bit. Yeah, I've got you here. 1956 to 1957. Well, that's the day it was, it was assayed. Yeah. So, should we have a look? Oh, Captain Tarsus, so and so, June 1930. Yeah. Okay, so that's about the date of that one. Nice silver hallmarks. Yeah. Fair Yeah. Probably 100 to 150 pounds. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So.